Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Taj and I'm a paycheck budgeter documenting my financial journey here on YouTube. If you are returning, welcome back beautiful budgeter. In today's video, we are going to be doing our June spread. Um, so if you are interested in seeing how I am going to decorate my spread for the month of June and you're up for a story time, then stick around girl and keep on watching. Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got time Alright, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back So I am going to be um, filling out my spread for the month of June I decided to go with the pink and purple I did do a poll on my community post um, Where I was trying to decide which, which sticker um sheet i wanted to use and so this one was the one that got the most votes so i'm gonna go ahead and just use this one i am gonna i'm still gonna use the yellow and black but i think i'm gonna do that one for the month of july so if you are a member of the channel i probably won't do um a sticker sheet for july just because i did two for may and two for june so you guys still should have two in the works so um i don't know i'm saying that now but i just made give you a little something so i don't know but if i don't then that would be the reason why so um if you are interested in being a member of my channel it is four dollars four ninety nine a month um and you get a free download of a sticker uh sticker sheet every month um some months i do two just depending on me and what i'm doing um and then sometimes i'll create two different color schemes and i can't decide and so i'll just post both of them for the uh channel members so thank you guys for those of you that have joined the channel um i haven't really been talking about it other than when somebody asks about the free downloadable posts uh but i am going to start talking a little bit more about it so thank you guys for you that are subscribed to my channel those that um comment like and communicate back and forth with me um and those of you that have joined the channel as a member so i'm gonna go ahead and jump right on into it usually with these videos if you are new to my channel i don't really talk on them i just kind of speed it up play some music um but this time i think i'm gonna do it a little bit different only because i have a story time so i am gonna be talking through this one um but yeah if you are in for uh this video and a story time then let's go ahead and jump right on into it
All right, so that's all I'm going to do for this spread. So I'm going to just go ahead and jump on into this story time, girl. So um, my daughter, I was getting ready to um, Friday. I was off Thursday. I took off Friday and then I'm off on the weekends. Sunday, my oldest daughter was graduating from high school. So Saturday, um, I did like a kind of like a backyard barbecue type of thing um, for my daughter, her friends and, you know, our close family members. So Thursday and Friday, I was kind of, you know, as you can expect, running around, you know, running errands, last minute things, getting stuff together. So uh, Friday, in the midst of me and my husband kind of, you know, running around doing what we do, um, I get a phone call from my daughter's school telling me to come pick, if I asked me if I can come pick her up because she had gotten into a fight. So I didn't, I didn't even ask like too many questions. I just was like, all right, I'm coming. Um, so I get there and when I walk through the, when I walk through the office door, um, my daughter was sitting there with one of the administrators and the, so when I walked through, I was like, when I walked through the door, um, I sat down and I was like, I looked at my daughter and I was like, what happened? So mind you, um, throughout the year it's been baking full with these different little girl groups and stuff like that. And the beginning of the year was kind of rocky. She did get into another fight before. So I said, if she, so out here, if you get into two fights within the same school year, they expel you and you have to go to like an alternative school depending on how long it depends on what they decide in the hearing. So this was her second fight. So we knew what we was looking at, but um, let me kind of rewind a little bit. So when I walked through the door, my first thing was what happened? Um, the first thing that came out of her mouth was mama I got jumped. So, you know, <laughs> if you watch my channel and you can kind of just get a feel of my vibe It's two, three things I don't play with my food, my money and my family. Um, but I kick ass and ask questions later. Okay. Let's just, let's just be honest. Okay. Um, I know these girls and teenagers and stuff like that, they're going to be, they're going to, they're going to do what they do. Um, but some things I'm just not, I ain't there yet. Okay. Um, but anyway, so when she said it, she was like, mom, I got jumped. So I'm like, what, what happened? And she's telling me what happened and stuff. And she said that the, it was two sisters and they've been kind of like picking, wanting to fight or whatever throughout the year. And she been kind of just ignoring them, not really just avoiding it or whatever. But I guess, you know, it was the last day that they were taking a leap testing and they call it fight season, girl. So all kind of fights become going on at the end of the year. Um, So she's telling me what happened and... I look at the administrator and the first thing, came, so after my daughter said what she had to say, she sat at her desk and she folded her hands and she said, um, she did not get jumped. So my daughter was like, when she said that, my daughter just was like, Miss Hardy, like, really? You know, um, and so I'm looking at my daughter like, you know how you know your kids? Like, you could tell me you know, certain things about my children and I'm kind of like, yeah, you know, but some things you just know, like she's not going to say that if she didn't feel that, that, or if that didn't happen. Right. So, um, I'm kind of puzzled because she's telling me when I first walked through the door, she's like, I got jumped. But then the administrator just kind of looked at me and said, um, she did not get jumped. So I said, well, what you mean she didn't get jumped? She said, um, I have, now this is what she said, you know, from the officers that was on duty, um, she had statements and all of these different things. Um, 
And I assure you, this is what she said. I assure you she did not get jumped. So you telling me, you assure me that she didn't get jumped. And my daughter is telling me that she did get jumped. So I said, um, so she goes to talking and then she kind of just brushed past that. And then she's like, you know, this is her second fight. And, you know, she's up for expulsion, yada, yada, yada. And you ain't finna just roll past that. I mean, you're not finna just roll past what happened to her. Now I get the whole consequences and all of that, but we, we, ain't, we not there yet. Let's run it, run it back. So I let her go through her whole little spiel about, you know, the policy and this, that, and the third. And so I said, so I sat up against the edge of my seat and I said, so let me ask you something. I said, she's saying that she got jumped and you saying that you assure me she didn't. Um, Were you there at the time that this happened? She said, no, I wasn't there. But uh, I said, do y'all have, don't y'all have cameras throughout the campus? Yes. So have you... Are you going based upon the statements um, of the administrators or have you saw the video yourself? Now, she's telling me that she making it seem as if, you know, she didn't see the video. She didn't like basic like she know without a shadow of a doubt that she my daughter didn't get jumped. So I told her, um, so as you know, we talking, so I asked my daughter again, I said, what happened? So she tried, you know, she explained that, um, after she finished her test, uh, she was getting ready to go to the bus room cause it was time, you know, school was over. People started coming up to her, telling her that these two girls said that they wanted to fight her and all of that. And so she went to, um, the bus ramp and they were at the bus ramp, but I guess they were on a different side. And so she went over there, which is uh, her intentions was okay, was good, but it wasn't the best decision. So she went up to them and asked them, you know, what's the problem? Because all of these different people telling you this, I said that and out of that, I'm here to tell you that that's not true, whatever. Um, but you could tell that they had already had it. And I'm going to tell you how I, I come to this conclusion, but you could tell that they already had it in their mind that they, they you know, they wanted to fight and they was going to jump up. So, um, so, you know, she's explaining all of that to me and the lady, the administrator, she just, you know, she's sitting there and then I ask her again, I said, so she's telling me that she got jumped. She's, she's, she's assuring me that she's got jumped. She, she has gotten jumped, but you assure me that, um, that she didn't. And she said, um, Mariah uh, started arguing with one of the sisters and then she started arguing with the other sister, which is, that's the sister that got, that she got into a fight with the other sister, the officer had her, um, to the side, um, while the other officers was trying to break them two up. I said, so this is what it shows on the video. Well, now, now she's telling me that she hadn't seen the video but you just assured me that you know for a fact. So you're based. So basically, you're basing this off of what the statements say and what whoever. I don't even know where what is based off of. Um, so I told her. I said, "Well, it was Friday." So I said, "Monday, I'm gonna come back up here to give you time to watch the videos because I want to know for sure." If my daughter had been jumped. So, oh yeah, yeah, you know, because all of that has to be um, viewed anyway for the hearing. Because she's going to have to go to a hearing to decide whether she's going to get expelled or not. Um, and how long and, and all of these different things. So, um, at this point, my daughter is, I could tell in her face, she's like, she's already upset because, mind you, right before the bell ring and she got ready to go to the bus ramp, one of her friends, and this is a lesson learned for her because throughout the year, I've been telling her, I don't know what it is about a, a mother's instinct, but baby, everybody who I say wasn't really a friend was not, wasn't proved themselves not to be a friend. Um, but this one particular, um, girl who was egging, egg, you know, Oh, they're not going to jump you. I'm not going to let that happen. But well, this girl was the one on the sideline, just recording everything while she watched my daughter get jumped. Okay. So, um, 
fast forward to we get to the truck and you know we're driving home and her feelings hurt because one as you you know she got jumped and two uh, I think the the thing that hit her the most was, you know, people, so-called friends just sat there and watched her, nobody, you know, so she, her feelings was hurt. So she cried. And then she also was upset that this particular administrator all throughout the year, she has come been confiding in her about different conflicts and stuff and, you know, going to her for advice. So to for her to not have her back and not believe her when she said she got jumped, that also hurted her. Um, so it was almost like, you know, she was a victim and it was taken away from her. And so she felt helpless. Um, not to mention, um, when I come in there and she's like, mama, I got jumped. I believed her wholeheartedly because my daughter is not going to tell me she got jumped when she didn't get jumped. Like I could tell that it, what she said happened, happened. Right. But I didn't have, it was like my, her word against theirs, which I believe her, but what do I have to stand on? So if that makes sense to, to kind of argue back and forth. Um, so we get home and, you know, you know, whatever, whatever. So my oldest daughter, it just so happened, you know, the so-called friend who recorded the whole fight, she started sending it to people and she ended up while she was trying to be messy and dirty. She actually helped um, because she sent it to someone who was a, a guy who was a friend of my oldest daughter and he noticed my daughter, my Mariah, my daughter in the video, and he sent it to my oldest daughter, Anaya. So she came and she showed me, she said, Ma, look at this. You can literally see everything from the beginning of the, from the beginning of the argument. You can hear what they saying. You can see them jump up clearly as they, um, they started to fight. And when, the sister was getting her ass whooped. The other one jumped in and that's when he started to jump her. So by then I'm furious because it's about five, six o'clock in the evening. Everybody's going from the school. And then we have the, um, we have the weekend. So I'm, I'm, I'm livid. Um, but I'm trying to, I'm, I'm upset, but then I also have to focus on my oldest daughter because the weekend was supposed to be about her. Um, but baby, I couldn't wait for Monday. Okay. So here we go into the real part of the story time. So I couldn't wait till Monday. Um, Monday, Monday came and baby, I woke up early in the morning. Um, she come downstairs and she was like, Ma, um, she was like, Ma, are we going to um are we going to the school today? Oh yes, ma'am, baby, we going. Go get dressed. I was already in the bathroom, brushing my teeth, head clothes on and everything. So we get to the school and um, we, we get to the school and I asked her, you know, I'm here to see Miss, my daughter walked in and she was like, we here to see Miss Hardy. So they was like, oh, okay, you know, her office is over there. Um, So they called her on the phone. She told them to send, send us on in. So we walked in. And, um, as you get, as you know, baby, I was ready for whatever. I made this one too big. Um, so I sat down and I told her, I said, listen, I said, when I came here on Friday, I said, the first thing that my daughter told me was that she had got jumped. And you sat across from her and you assured me that she didn't when you really didn't have a leg to stand on. I said, you made you made that assumption um as if you was there yourself or you had saw a video or you had some type of evidence or some something um was presented to you that made you be 100% sure that what she was actually telling you was not true i say but the fight was ended up being recorded and it was sent to my daughter who sent it to me I said, and in the video, you can see her clear as day getting into a altercation with both sisters and they, they jumped her. So I showed her the video and she's like, oh yeah, because this changes everything. Um, Because they're up and oh no, baby, we're going to get to that, but I'm finna get on your ass. I said, so you assured me 
that my daughter didn't get jumped. And she was the victim and you took that away from her. I said, so you owe her an apology. Not only do you owe her an apology because she confided in you pretty much all year. And then when she needed you, you wasn't even there for support. But you also owe me an apology. She also owed me, I felt like, owe me an apology because you told me something that you really didn't, you wasn't sure about. You had no proof. You had no, no, what you should have done was said, Mariah says she was jumped. I have statements that says that she wasn't. Um, I haven't had a chance to look at the video, but I'm, I assure you, I'm going to look into this to see what exactly happened. That would have been the way to approach that. But you assure me she did not get jumped. So it just so happened that she had she had watched the camera and the view that where they were, the the camera view didn't even show the fight. So I'm glad I even came up there with the video and sort of it because if I would have if I would have been waiting on her evidence or her video, I still would have been at square one. It would have been my daughter word against theirs. Um so, you know, she was, oh, I am so sorry, Mariah. I apologize. And, you know, this, that, and the third. But I I wasn't trying to hear all that. Um, so, you know, she said that she was putting them up for expulsion, too, because it goes from a, um, a fight to now a gang fight and all of this stuff. You know, she's, a, but at this point, your word, your word don't really mean shit, right? So, um, she said, but, you know, that changes the the part where they are actually up for expulsion too, but it doesn't ch change the consequences that she faced because this is her second fight and po school policy is the second fight, you go up for expulsion, um, and then you have to go to a hearing for them to determine if you will get expelled. And if so, how long do you have to go to the alternative school before you can um, enter back into um, the parish school? Um, and so I felt like it wasn't fair because you could clearly see in the video that my daughter wasn't the aggressor, that she tried to avoid it. But when she felt like, you know what, they, they really... D they mind is set on fighting. What was she supposed to do? I wasn't going to, I, I, she, she defended herself. Um, and so I don't feel like, I felt like that fight wasn't, wasn't, um, avoidable. And so she, I feel like she shouldn't have been, I understand a fight is a fight, but it just, in the video, it didn't show. And I'm not, uh, of course I'm not going to show the video here, but just trust me. It just, you can, I just feel like it wasn't, she couldn't, there was no way to avoid that. Like their mind was made up. You could tell they had planned it. So, you know, I just didn't feel like she should suffer consequences for that. Um, went up to the school board, talked to the, the person who was over the hearing and they basically buy the book. Okay. So, Fast forward, we get to the hearing and when we walked in there, the first thing the person who was, you know, the office hearing officer, they were talking to her as if, you know, they basically, the whole hearing was them telling her what she could have did better, how she could have handled it. She should have got an administrator to walk up to the bus, whatever. Um... It, it, you know, you could, so uh, rewind, I asked Ms. Hardy, the administrator, I sent her the video. I sent the phone, the video to her phone because I wanted that to be included in whatever information needed to be forwarded over for the hearing so that they can see that she wasn't the aggressor. The statements that the two girls wrote was a lie because the video contradicted. She assured me again that all of that stuff would be included. The hearing officer would get a chance to see that stuff and all of that. Fast forward to the hearing. 
Um, it was evident that he never even seen the video, didn't know of a video. Um, Miss Hardy, who claimed that, oh, this is going to change the trajectory of everything and da, da 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 She said quiet as a mouse, did not say anything in the hearing other than when they asked her to read the statements. Now, my problem is you read statements that you knew before before even coming to that hearing that they were false. So I felt like those statements shouldn't have even been read because you saw a video prior to this hearing that showed that those statements were false. Okay, so but you still read them and you even and, and not only did you read them, but you did not say anything in the hearing that although these are the statements um a video was presented that showed that these like you said nothing you just let those statements stand and i don't feel like that was right um at the end of the hearing um the hearing officer made a comment and he was like well was there officers in the video well the fact that you even asked me that question you didn't even know it. you didn't even see it um which i looked at her because you told me that he would that you would show those things to him so Fast forward, I get a letter, um, I get an email saying that, you know, the results of the hearing, they are expelling her for, she has to go to the alternative school for 60 days and then she will return back to regular school, um, you know, the next school year or whatever. Um, I could appeal it. I'm wondering if it's even worth it. Um, but I just don't feel, and the reason why I would appeal it is because I feel like, again, if we if we were in like a courtroom, you basically gave false statement. You knew they were false, uh, but you still, you didn't omit them. Like you still allowed them to be presented in this hearing against her as a as a witness to whatever the the altercation was, and you knew prior to the hearing that these were false. Um, you didn't even state the fact that she came to you numerous times. Um, she's confided in you about how to approach certain shit. Like you, you didn't say nothing. You didn't have a back at all. And I, that pissed me off. Um, I feel like when we went in there, their mind was already made up what they were going to do. Everything was by the book, I guess. They stuck to the roof to fight you out. I feel like Ruse, um, and, um, guidelines are to set boundaries um to kind of give you a blueprint but every case should be reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis and i just don't think that it was fair not because it's my daughter because don't get me wrong my my daughter is far from a saint but when you write you're right and when you're wrong you're wrong um and I just didn't feel like she was wrong in this situation. I felt like when she, they said that um, instead of her approaching them, that that showed that she didn't avoid the confrontation. Um, but her, like I said, she could have just let them come to her or she could have just, they wanted her to be able to go to an administrator, ask them to walk her to the bus because she heard somebody want to fight. You know, these kids, this day and age, they're not finna be doing all of that, making it look like they scary and they trying to run. And I, and I get it. But at the end of the day, um, that was the mistake that she made. Um, even though her in in intentions was to just be like, girl, I ain't got no problem with you, whatever. Their mind was made up. So you shouldn't have went over that. You should have just, if, if they really had a problem with you, they could have came to you. Um, that was the only downfall of the thing that I felt like she did wrong. But I guess it's neither here nor there. Um, but I still feel even, in, and at this point, because of Ms. Hardy, the administrator's actions in the hearing, I don't even, I'm not confident in saying that she put them up for expulsion. Because at this point, I can't believe nothing you said. Um and part of me felt like I, I should go and file charges since the school board didn't do it. But then I'm thinking to myself, like, what is my motive? You know, am I doing it because I'm upset? that I don't know. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I'm also thinking about whether to appeal it or not. Um, but I just feel like my daughter was not wrong in this situation. I got a bag 100% and the shit wasn't right. So, but I'm trying to figure out my next step. 
Um, but I ain't gonna finish this on the video. I'll finish this off video, girl, because I made my stickers. I made this sticker too big and the other two stickers that I don't know. I like that's why I like to do my videos first and then do my story time after because girl, I can't talk and do at the same time. But um, but this is the spread for the month of um June. I'm gonna use the, the yellow one for July. Um and yeah, that's it, y'all. That's it for this video. If you like this video, if you like my channel, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload. I do want to say hey, girl, hey to the um, all my new subscribers. Hey, my girls. Um, I hope that you stick around and uh, watch these videos and I continue to like my vibe for whatever reason that made you subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but I will see you beauties in the next video. Bye, guys.